I am Mandlov, the elephant princess. And I am my father's daughter. He is a lover of the written narrative and has taught English literature since before I was even thought to be conceived. I was raised on African folklore and African music as bedtime stories in a house filled with what looked like a million books to my young, inquisitive eyes. I devoured every one of them with a ravenous desire, some more than once, twice over. Like clockwork, at 6.30 every weekday morning, and 8 a.m. on weekends, my father would sit with his newspapers at the dining room table with his cup of good old Tanganda tea. He would read out the stories he found intriguing, his voice boisterous and animated, retelling the stories with an exaggeration as if a first-hand account from an eyewitness. Three decades into these early memories, I have the exact same routine. Only difference being, I scroll through my tablet on various news channels. This is obviously an inherited, unquenchable thirst for stories. His love for the craft inspired my love for film, a form of literature that took what for my formative years was visualized from my imagination into something more tangible and something more me. His love for teaching literature inspired my journey into curation, the celebration of African stories by African people. Storytelling, as we know, is fully ingrained in our African DNA. It's been a journey filled with color, which has translated to my hair, nails, and clothes, as anyone who's ever met me will attest to. And to some, a sign of my seeming unending midlife crisis. I see story everywhere I go. And everyone I meet has a little version of a would-be movie in my head. I dream of the day that we can re-image our continent through our own eyes. And hopefully, all the little movies that are the people I've met and the places I've visited get to be a part of that. I am my father's daughter and I wanted to be him when I grew up. In a way, I did. Both connoisseurs of the imagination, not authors in our own right, but evangelists of the creations of our African authors.